Now then, guys, we're back with this Leicester City career mode. And today, I think what we're going to do to kick off the episode, is we're going to hire some more scouts for some more youth. I meant to do this earlier. I'm not going to lie. Completely forgot, but we've got the money left in the budget. And I think what we should do, someone had a really good idea, and that was send a scout out to Asia. We say, I think Leicester in real life have really high tie links with the board and the ownership. So why not try and find the best players in that area? Bring them in. Get ourselves some Thai youth players. Now, I don't know if we can scout thailand i'm not sure that's a place you can scout in the game no it's not now if we were on pc we'd be able to mod that but we will go and scout china japan and korea i reckon we'll start with china and see if we can get some really good young chinese players you see academy already is starting to shape up a little bit we're starting to get some players in there and slowly they'll start to come through but today is an important one we've got some big games guys we've got some big games so i'm going to split this into three episodes now what we've got left because hopefully we beat rail saucy dad so there'll be even more games there and i want to play this man united game because i I want to welcome Ronaldo back and see if we can beat United to help us kind of push up in the league, which we need to do because they want us to finish fourth for Man City have those games in hand. So let's take on Man United to kick this one off. We'll go and pick the team for it now. That's just telling me that the scout is set up. But first of all, guys, thank you again for your continued support on this series. We're smashing it at the moment. We're nearly at 3K. So if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe button. I said it once or twice before. My goal for this year's game cycle was to gain a thousand subs. We did that already. That's already done. Let's just keep on going now. Let's just keep on growing as much as we can. I'm a sucker for a cool narrative. So we're going to play Gomez today on the left. He's returning back to where it all began for him. We see it didn't work out for him at Manchester United. And we are going to give him the opportunity for just a little bit of revenge here. He's already gone up by two since joining the club. I, I genuinely think he could be special for us. Perfect place to cause an upset this old Trafford. I'd love to. It'd be really good to see if we can do. We've struggled a little bit, haven't we, against the big teams? You know, Man City is probably the only big team we've not necessarily struggled massively against. Of course, getting some decent results, but the rest we've had rail problems. Liverpool cost me a lot of points. They were a, a big issue. Man United, though, this could be, could be interesting. I'm intrigued to see how deep they sit. If they sit super deep, those balls over the top to Jamal's Vardals. Should be very good. Oh, he's going to win the ball back already. That's a sloppy early pass here for Man United. Go on then, Jamie. Show him what you've got, son. He's in. Jamie Vardy. Oh, it's just past the post. Nearly 1-0 Leicester. Just like that. Man United sloppy start. And he's just dragged it, Annie. He? He's just dragged it past the post. Gutted. He is. I see it in his face. I know him. We know each other pretty well now, me and Jamie. After being at the club for nearly a full season. And I can tell in his face when he's upset. He's upset with that one. I don't know, the danger, man. And Rashford's pace will probably be a danger to us as well. Oh, it comes Sancho. Oh, don't let him fire off those shots over the bar, though. Groundsman in Manchester as well. It should be pointed out. I'm in a bit of a vacay, I'm guessing. Little bit of a cheeky vacation. I don't know what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? The groundsman in this country. Bloody appalling. I was to think maybe we should have pounced on that early mistake uh, because they've not misplaced a pass since. In fact, it's been very good and now we're all out of position and it's Scott McTominay. Fafana comes across. Fernandez McTominay. What a save, Schmeichel. What a save. Bruno causing me issues, man. Bruno causing me issues. What a shock. He's such a good player. Not even a, a year this year, is he, like he had last year? But go on, Maddow, okay? They're not going to catch you, son. Mads is on the run. Mads is on the run. Mads is on the run for Vardy. Vardy's through. In this position, Vardy does not make mistakes. Oh, he did, though. Took a touch too much. Oh, Vardy. You just bank on him finishing those. And he hasn't. That's two now that he's had. Really, the first one was a tight angle. But that one, he was clean in. We have to score them. Oh, Fred did well there. Sancho's found himself back on the ball. This is where United could be really dangerous. I'm just going to stand up, Ronaldo. To be honest with you, I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with Ronaldo in that position. I certainly don't want to stick a foot in either. Bruno Fernandes now. Oh, that's a lovely play. Ronaldo flicks it up, turns, shoots, and Schmeichel will save it. Back and forth, this, isn't it? Both sides having good opportunities. Oh, I've missed a tackle. That was a mistake. Don't punish me for it, Fred. Don't do it. Over the bar. Indeedy now. Sanchez. Mads knows he's got Ricardo. Plays it. Ricardo, back across Vardy, diving header for the goal, and it's not going to count. Oh, I'm devastated. What a diving header as well, though, from him. This was great. I thought it was great play as well, but is he off? 
I thought he was being... He's, oh, it's his knee. It's his knee. No need to give that offside. Uh, that'll be it. I won't do another one of them. I'm sorry, guys. I should have been playing in my eye now. And there are bodies in this box. You have to stop him. Oh, that's nice. McTominay. Fred. Oh, fires it. It's blocked. Get it away. Gomez does get it away. It wasn't the greatest and cleanest of balls away. And Didi now is going to try and find Jamie Vardy. Maybe it wasn't the right decision. Maybe he should have gone out to Madison. Remember at one point, I think Manchester United wanted Madison. Oh, here they come just before the half. It's Ronaldo in that position. Sancho, what a save, Schmeichel. Really open game, really back and forth. That man not having the impact he probably would have wanted. Only one attempt in the first half, so hopefully we can keep a tight lid on him. I'll take nil nil at half time. I'm just a little bit frustrated that we couldn't find the back of that. Jamie Vardy's got to put them away. Maybe it's time for Daka. As this half goes on... And it stays nil-nil. Daka will be coming on the pitch. Sanchez making that run. Oh, that's lovely. Sanchez flicks it back across. Jimmy Vardy coming in. But Rafael Varane's a bit of a big unit, isn't he? Bruno now. They like to do that. Just stand it up. And Fred with the long shot. Another great save from Schmeichel. He's having a great game. Michael being on fire in this one. And you need it. Because Man United have just had so many opportunities. I think we've had the better clear-cut ones. They've had a lot of shots. We're forcing them to take long shots, though, but surely at one point one of those goes in, right? Fred, Bruno. Luckily, it's been Fred and McTominay taking the long shots at the moment. Well, it's those... Oh, what a ball. What a goal. Bruno Fernandes. What a pass. Can't say it weren't coming. That ball in from McTominay was great. Bruno don't miss them. But just saying how he'd forced Fred and McTominay to take shots. Didn't want Bruno taking any. He was always going to score. We've had chances. Sancho goes in there and that's absolutely nothing but we've had chances and we know a point will take us back fourth it won't keep us fourth or where we've fallen apart here now Ronaldo's going to pile forward and then it's going to be Rashford and it's going to be two just like that we've just collapsed well, how it could have been a different story but we fell apart there see Onchu come out to cut the ball out he didn't and then that's it it was game over at that point well Daka's going to come on but I've got to be honest 68 minutes I don't think there's a way back in for it us, you know, we've, we've had the opportunities as well. It's it's really disappointing to see this scoreline. Started lively. We had those chances. Dacking out. Good footwork from him. But again, didn't have that much help. He manages to get the ball out to Gomez, though. Again, where's the help for Gomez? It's non-existent. Dacca might be in over the top here. Can he get to it? Oh, he got his head on it. Gomez might pick this one up. He's going to fire it into the box. Back towards Dacca. Oh, just wide of the post. Something there was found. Thinks it over to Dacca. Not a bad touch. Pass to Daka. Oh, poor shot. Tough angle. Poor shot. And that kind of just sums up our performance today, really. Just hasn't been good enough against the big teams. It really hasn't. Just not been good enough. And, you know, the big teams have been better than us all season long. And that's, I guess that's how it's supposed to go. I just would have wanted one of those really good performances that bring you forward. But again, another defeat. And it's just come down to quality, I think, here. We lost a game that we had chances in. Which is just always going to be annoying. Can't dwell on it, though. Sociedad coming up. And we know that Real Sociedad at the moment, that's the big one. Transfer offer for Ryan Birchin as well, though, that I'm just going to accept straight away. It's the first offer we've had for him. And I've been trying to get rid of him all season. Two days after this one, we've got Palace as well, which is another game we could really do with winning. Avi Barnes is back in. Daka will be up top 80 rated. Pats and Daka now. Let's remember that. Brooks just in behind him. It's a very strong team. But when I look at this Real Sociedad team... It's not going to be an easy one. They've got a very good squad as well. We need to really make sure that we have a good first leg. I'm not nervous for this one. My career doesn't hang in the balance if we don't win this competition, does it? Omtai, though, is where you kind of try and take as big as an advantage as humanly possible into the away one. Although we've been very good away in this competition. I don't want to write the boys off. We've done some really good work away, but... We need to find that attacking threat today. I genuinely think if we'd have pushed United back, we'd have scored a couple of those early goals, it'd have been a different result. Well, our groundsman's gone on holiday as well now. It's just that time of year, boys, where they have the annual groundsman meetup in Benidorm. And, you know, your pitch, your pitch just doesn't get looked after. Oh, here they come. I see that. An early goal for them really would be an issue, but well in Sion Chu. And Barnes. This is what we've needed. Someone like Arvel Barnes. Barnes. He's going to whip it across. Daka surely. Oh, what a save. Will we get the rebound? We won't. Daka's got to bury that. Another early chance that we haven't taken. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We'll be okay. Let's see. Castagna now. We'll try and pull that one back across towards Daka. Daka got on it as well. He is powerful enough to get on them. Take the corner. 
I'd love a goal. We're going into Daco. Oh, I thought that was just going to land in the top corner. Yozabal now will be an issue for me today. Very talented player. Should play for Spain quite a bit, although that touch won't do him any favours. Brooks. Go on then, Brooks. Play him. I think he's on. He's definitely on. Patson Daka. Now, Jamie Vardy was in this position. Didn't finish it. Well, Daka, of course he bloody will. 1 0 Leicester City. God, did I need that. Thank you. I definitely needed that. Again, I'm not nervous. You are. We need him back scoring, though, don't we? That's just without a doubt. I need him back scoring. He's had a little bit of a torrid time recently. The goals haven't been coming as freely as they were in the early stages of the season. And we know the plan here. Win the Europa League. Keep our job. That is the plan. It's not changed. It's probably not going to change. So I need to make sure we win this competition. And this would be a real big step into the very later rounds of it. I can now play it in behind. See what Daka can do. He's got the strength and the pace, hasn't he? Maduweke is making that run. Thinks it over to him. Mads will take a touch and finish it. Absolutely beautiful stuff from Maduweke. And it's 2 0 Leicester. Just a clever ball over from Daka, and he just got himself space. But that touch from Mads, that touch for Mads there is beautiful. Some may say fit. Don't you? Mads has chosen war today, hasn't he? He's going to dig that one into Daka. Daka! Oh, ho, ho! is he on, though? Is he on? He's not. That is gutting. Beautiful finish, but he's offside. And I reckon this one is very, very close. Don't like him there. He's not a nice guy. Never liked him. How close is this? This is really close. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Benefit of the doubt for the attacker. Great finish, though, from Patson. Great finish. Well, that one maybe would have put the tie to bed, but unfortunately not given. So Saucier dead. Given a little bit of a lifeline, haven't they there? It's fine, though. I think we've started this game really well. And is it Harvey Barnes, boys? Every time I play Harvel Barnes, we play really bloody well. And we didn't play him against Man United. And that's nothing on Gomez. But is it just... Is it the Harvey Barnes effect? Oh, we'd have got handball for that as well. It was a good block, in my opinion. They're moving the ball nicely. Now, I don't like this. Poor two. Well in for Fana. Dangerous place to win the ball back in the box. But he did it. We've also got Mads now bombing on. By the way, K, not a bad touch. He's going to pull that one back, surely. Tielemans! Oh, what a save. We'll take the corner. We feel like we're a little bit on fire at the moment. Sion Chu trying to get it on to him, but... Half-time whistle goes, and we are very happy with this first-half performance. Miles better than what we showed against Man United. Miles better. Great pink ball out there by Brooks. We already know Mads is on fire in this one. Can he get beyond his man? He can't. He might win it back, though. He's pushing him and hassling him to win it back. And that was a very dangerous ball. Played across his own goal there. That was very dangerous. But now they might be able to counter. And they've got bodies out wide here. I'm glad they went centrally so that I could cut off this run. Oh, that's a great ball, though, from Davis. Back to Ferrez. Oh, what a finish. Just like that, Sossi had a back in it. Guvara with the goal. Never heard of him, but it was a tidy finish. 2-1, just over the line. A bit of goal line tech for you boys. But yeah, it was over. Oh, right, okay now. to be found. Mads has been found. That's a great ball in. And I just couldn't get onto it. Will Tielemans win it? He won't. Right, okay, oh, might come back and get that. He doesn't. Frustrating. They're sitting a little bit deeper on me now. I'm guessing they're going to look to counter. To be honest with you right now, I'd take this result if they gave me it. Abazuel, though, piling down the wing. This is dangerous. Don't let him get it in. Well in, Sion Chu. Just could not afford to let him get that ball in the box. They had the numbers. They'll make a sub as well. Carlos Fernandez is coming off. And it looks like Alexander Izak is coming on. So it's about to get even more difficult, boys. This is where they scored last time. These kind of positions. Moneno. Oh, well in, and DD. That could have been a huge mistake for them. Daka now. Waiting for runners. And he's going to be fouled, surely. Cut. Oh, my God. How has that not been given? And Isaac goes clean through. I cannot believe that that was not given as a foul. Daka needs the runners, needs the bodies. Just doesn't have the help at the moment. And we nearly just saw a crazy on goal. Oh, my God. They play very strangely at the back. The Sociedad. A oh, mistake made. Daka plays that centrally. Tielemans out wide. This could be good. Back across. Brooks. Oh, my God. He missed it. He missed kicked. Brooks just had a moment there that could have made this 3-1 and much more safer and sounder for us. I can't believe some of the opportunities we're having and not taking them. 
The second leg's going to be a feisty affair if it's played like this. Barnes now tries to play that one in behind to Daka, and he's done it. Daka now really can do me a favour, but he can't. Great save. Their keeper's had a wonderful game as well. Lutman on. Harvey Barnes off. Brooks off Iheanacho. Bit of a goal-scoring threat, does Iheanacho? They're bringing on Adnan Yanezai. Oh, let's see what I could do. It's not bad ball in. Daka's in there. Iheanacho! Couldn't just quite get to it in time. But away, okay. What's that runner? Tielemans. He got it. Yuri Tielemans. Lookman, surely. Yes! 3-1. We really needed this. That ball in for Mads was great. And then he wasn't greedy. Tielemans over to Lookman, who had an open goal. Because the goalkeeper's been really difficult for me to beat today. That'll be 3 1. And that is a much nicer scoreline to take with us to Spain. Super important, that goal. And super important for him as well. Lookman's been good. I've enjoyed using him. We need to make a decision on whether we're going to bring him back next season or not. I think a lot of that will depend on the price, right? Because we've got some good young left-sided midfielders now in Braff and in Gomez. But Luckman has had a great impact on the squad this season. And I, I wouldn't mind bringing him back. I've got to be honest. But again, it's, it's probably on the price. We've got, we've got the defence to fix, haven't we? The centre-backs are too slow. And although when I've got Sionchu and Fafana playing like this, it's not too bad... By the way, AK is going to have space here to run into, and I'm not quite sure why they've given him it. Oh, and he just couldn't get the right ball over to Luckman. But that's the whistle, and that's the win, and it's exactly what we needed. Really open-ended game of football as well. That was really open, and I weren't sure that we were going to get that win. But like when they scored, this is the moment where the team comes back, and I was like, no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. We are going to play this Palace game as well, because we're at a stage at the moment where I kind of need to play all the games. Let's have a quick look, though. I want to see how well Gomez has gone up. Yeah, two already. Gomez, at the age of 21, I think he's going to grow very fast. Like, Pete Pino as well. Pino's come in and he's gone up two instantly and only 19, Jeremy Pino. So I think some of these players are going to grow really fast. The Braff has gone up two as well. So uh, it's exciting to see the new boys coming in and going up two instantly, getting that little boost. We need it, man. We need it. They're going to be stars for the future for us. It's all about the Zambian, isn't it? It is all about the Zambian going up three already this year. And what's his total at the moment? It is 30 appearances and 30 goals. 30 and 30 is just... I mean, that's Ronaldo and Messi stuff, boys. That's Lewandowski stuff. That is not what I thought I was going to get out of Pats and Daka, but I'm loving it. Of course, two days after that Sociedad game, I've had to rotate Jamie Vardy, though. Imagine, right? You could just bring Jamie Vardy back into the team when you're rotating. It's absolutely ridiculous. Decent lineup for them, but they're 18th in the table. We need these wins, boys. Let's go and get one. Lovely and sunny in this one. And we've got to make the home advantage count against Palace. They're 18 for a reason, right? They're 18 for a reason, so I think they might be quite open at the back. We have to be thinking again, saucy dad after this. Can we still get fourth place? Of course we can. So hopefully, we'll do a good job here. That's a terrible ball into Jeremy, though, from Ricardo. He's done his best to win it back, though, and then play one over. Another bad ball, actually. The passing accuracy is down, so... Uh, I, I like that in the slider. I'm trying to make more error for both, for both of us to have more errors because the turnover I was noticing was just non-existent. You know, my passes were always crisp and so were theirs. That is a nice ball from Brooks to Jamie Vardy. Vardy's clever, pulls it back. Jeremy Pino! Ho, ho, ho! Vardy, very clever. Normally, I'd have just taken that shot on with him and I'm pretty sure the keeper would have saved it. Jeremy Pino... Gets another goal. Super smart from Vardy. Great ball in from Brooks, but super smart to just pull that back and what a hit. Rocket. He just smashed that as hard as he could. You know when you're a kid and the ball's running towards you and you just whack it? That's exactly what Jeremy did there and it smashed into the back of the net. What's an Edouard now? Ball played out wide. I remember Edouard at one point, I think, was linked to Leicester. I don't know if I remember that right, but I'm pretty sure Edouard at one point was linked to Leicester. And that would have been a big deal for them. Jeremy now. He's just he's just a nightmare for teams, isn't he? Jeremy, back in. Oh, he tried to slide it through to Vardy. Well closed down there by David Garcia, it was. Ivanovic now. It's not bad ball across, but we've got Sionchu and Yannick Vestergaard. Crossing is probably not going to do you many favours today, Palace. Oh, Vardy. Vardy with a miss hit pass there. Hughes now. Finds to Stevanovic. Stevanovic gets turned, but wasn't a great ball in, was it? Brooks now. Trying to play himself out of trouble. Jeremy played a decent ball, but I see he was there. It needed a bit more power on it, didn't it? I'm trying to maybe break away a bit too quick. I need to remember we're 1-0 up. We don't really have to push the pace at the moment, do we? But 
in my brain, I'm like, right, break now. Jamie Vardy's making a run. And again, Jeremy's ball just didn't have the legs on it. Needs a bit more power. We'll take a free kick here, though. Set piece genius. You've seen it once already. Scored that one with Ian Acho, so I'm probably going to do the same again here. Smash it. Less said about that, the better, boys. We're just now trying to find holes and playing poor passes, but Vardy there. <sighs> poor ball. Again, we're, we're making some of the right decisions. I can see, though, why they're doing so badly, Palace, and that is beautiful for Luckman. And then Luckman, what, what is that ball over? He's just sloppy header. Oh, that was a beautiful ball in behind to Stavanovic. What I said by Schmeichel, warning signs for us there. We'll take that at halftime. Really scrappy game, though. I'd like that to change in the second half. I'd like a second goal. We need a second goal. There's no like about it. I'm never comfortable with one because we've been so leaky all year. I've got those memories just ingrained into my brain of how leaky we've been over the season. That was poor. You've got to get it over his head, Sanchez. Found him, Didi. It is timing is off because he's being fouled in my opinion, but you don't get those ones. His arm is all over him, and the ref's just like, nah, that seems pretty okay to me. It's like, are you crazy? Jeremy's run was shocking. We're struggling to get ourselves out here when we win the ball back. And that nearly was a screamer from Eze. He's got that in his locker as well, hasn't he, Eze? Really does. That's nice play. That is nice play. And that is not a nice ball, though. That's a terrible ball in from Ricardo. To be fair, we haven't seen much good crossing from Ricardo, have we? You know, it's not seeming to be his strong point. Where I thought him overlapping would be really clutch. The overlap's good. His ability to overlap is very good as well. But his crossing ability has been, been pretty poor, to be honest with you. This could be a breakaway. And DD found Luckman. Luckman now is dangerous. He scored in the last game. Adola Luckman. And there we go. That is the cushion we needed. Really big couple of games for him. He came on and got the goal that helped us against Sociedad. And now he's really made an impact, giving him the start today. And the question will be pushed forward. Do we sign Adama Luckman? A couple of subs now. Lent Dewsbury all coming on for Sanchez. And Vardy's going to come off just in case we need him in Spain. Gomez up top. He's played there once or twice, so he looked good last time we played him in uh, in the striker position as well. So we'll give him that. We'll give him that today. Looks there. That's great. Gomez. Luckman wants Gomez as well. What a cheeky running behind. Gomez is offside. Gutted. That's ridiculous. That is a stupid. That is ridiculous. That offside. Odson Edouard coming off. Pretty much no impact. Maybe if they go down, Odson Edouard could be someone we look at. I'm not sure I would want to play him out on the wing, though, and we're kind of stacked at striker at the moment, aren't we? Which is my only problem, I think. Pretty much the back line is going to be in... Oh, ref. The back line is going to be what we look at fixing instantly next season and then probably working our way up. Like, we've got a lot of good young players as well, so I don't want to just, like, rip the heart out of the team. Thomas now, though. This is a good opportunity for Thomas. The dinker ball over Luckman. Oh, he got it to Gomez, but... If they were tight on him. They were tight on him. We're forward. Bobby Con. Oh, Eze scores it. Schmeichel's done poor there with the save. Eze puts it in the back of the net. I was too busy trying to figure out that lad's name. And that's exactly why we needed the second, though. That is exactly why we needed the second. Because of moments like that in the match. Great shot, actually. Schmeichel's probably misjudged that. By the looks of it, he's misjudged it. It's coming across him. I think he's got to save that. He gets touches on it. More importantly, though, who is this player? Antonin Bobby, Bobby Chon? I've never heard of him. Let's say with a goal, six in 29 matches. I think he's played up top a lot for Palace this year, so not where I would have played him. I would have probably had him out on the wing or, or even at Cam, but definitely not up top. Three minutes added on now. Will they be dangerous three minutes? We'll be while they're coming forward now, Palace. Got to be tight on them here. Don't let Eze get in, and we won't. And that should be that and it will be and we will win this one 2-1 again we struggle with not conceding goals but it doesn't matter because we've won this one felt like we were the better team as well all the way through to be honest we definitely felt like we were the better team of course next time out the big one the quarterfinal against Real Sociedad. We are 3-1 up in the first leg. We need to keep that same energy for the second. Manager rating has dropped a little bit, but I think it'll be fine as long as we keep progressing. Oh, Ryan Bertrand's transfer has broken down. Just kind of deep. Like, why wouldn't you want to go to Benfica if you're Ryan Bertrand and not playing at Leicester? Now, we're back in fourth as well, and Man City do have a game in hand, but if they mess up the game in hand, which looks like it's Wolves... 
then we will stay in fourth place. So we're kind of on track to achieve exactly what was needed, apart from the FA Cup. I'm not worried anymore that we're going to be sacked, I don't think. Burnley are in eighth. I haven't seen them do that well. But of course, again, we see Chelsea not doing well in the game this year, just not doing well in the sim. And it does feel like, I don't like to go on these rants, but we're all playing the game, aren't we? It does feel like as they patch this game more and more, they're making it more and more buggy and worse. So sliders are definitely more important. And with the upcoming realism mod potentially around the corner, maybe we'll do a couple of series on the PC version of the game and not all on next gen because that will fix a lot of the problems we're facing right now. Unfortunately, with this situation, the sim will be better. The objectives will be less harsh. And also, we will be able to do an Italian career mode because that'll all be licensed. Just food for thought. Just food for thought, but I think that might be something we do. Like I say, I wanted to split this into a couple more episodes because these are huge games at the moment. So next time out, we will play Sociedad. We will play either Newcastle or Aston Villa. And of course, probably, if we do beat Sociedad, the next leg of the Europa League. We might even get four episodes if there's a final in the Europa League to play. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, thank you again for your continued support. Absolutely smashing it. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you've made it to this stage of the video and you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you bloody doing? Smash that subscribe button for me. I will see you in the next one.